We got some creeping cats on the end here, as well as three scabs and a couple of secret keeping cats. Where is Carrot? All right, guys, today we are in Boise, Idaho. Yesterday we were in Kennewick, Washington. I made a six hour drive to get here, Boise, Idaho, to see this spirit Halloween right here. Now, there are a good handful of spirit Halloween stores here in Boise, but I thought this one looked very cool. I really wanna find one inside a tent because I have seen that some of them are inside giant tents, almost like a circus tent. This one is not. <laughs> if I am not mistaken, this store just opened at 10 a.m. It is literally 10.01 a.m. What do you think of that, miss? Oh, not speaking, okay. All right, let's go in and see what Boise, oops, Idaho has to offer. Here we go, West Park Town Plaza in Boise, Idaho. Guys, I cannot tell you how excited I get every single time I step into a spirit Halloween. Even though a lot of people say, oh, it's the same thing over and over and over, it's not really, because I usually find more awesome stuff I haven't seen. Some stores are stocked, some stores are not. They have different animatronics set up. And right here, right now, in Boise, Idaho, in the front, we have the Widow. Come on, Widow. <laughs> You gotta love the widow, guys. And let's just take a minute here to look at the setup here. This is a little different setup walking in the door here, but it looks totally awesome. They have done a great job setting up this store. We got the fire of death. We have the gargoyles of death. The Spirit Hollows Cemetery of Death and the Widow of Death. Wait, look at this. I've never looked at her little medallion here. It's actually a magnifying glass what the heck what do you see <laughs> see this is what i'm talking about guys look we have gordo set up right in the front here too i think it's the first time we've seen gordo set up in the front all right here we go gordo this is usually come on there you go this is usually where gorgeous george is wait a minute no this is usually where the widow is on this side and Gorgeous George is usually over here. Who is it? Who would it be? It is Gorgeous George. All right, George, let's get going here. All right, let's leave some stickers for George. We'll leave a couple for the widow. We'll leave a couple for Gordo right here. And who else do we have? We have the straw man. All right, straw man, do your stuff. If you're looking for somewhere safe, you can hide in the hole I dug out back. It's six feet deep and very cozy. <laughs> You gotta love the straw man, guys. Couple stickers for the straw man here. And awesome props to this store right here, guys, because so far, every animatronic is working. And look at this ginormous selection of animatronics for sale on the floor. I love to walk into the stores and see giant stacks of animatronics like this. Some of the stores, they have to keep them behind the counter because apparently people have been stealing them, just like grabbing them and running out the door so they even block the door. Doors, but this one, they have them all set up. Ooh, a light just went off, which makes it even spookier. What the heck? I think that was these lights. All right, let's get down to the spooky goodness. We've got man's possessed friend Bubba right here. In fact, we have two of them. We have an eternal rest on the bottom there. We have a whole stack of jumping spiders here. We have the black and red. The black, do we have a brown? Um... I don't see any plain brown, but that is fine. We have a little skelly bones. We have another Bubba down here, a Darling Dolly. Behind Darling Dolly, we have Desmodus and a Howling Spirit and the Grave Watcher on top. Plenty of stuffed dummy props there. Another Desmodus right over here. We got a sitting scarecrow, a scary sitting scarecrow, another one, another one, and another regular sitting scarecrow here. Wait a minute. 
Ooh, here we go, guys. Here's the brown jumping spiders. Yes, I knew we would find some. We have a couple of straw mans here and a couple of the widows. And even more on this side, we have a slim here and a stilts, a.k.a. Papa Pins. And guys, check this out. Papa Pins. Remember in the beginning when I told you where that came from, there's a bowling alley called Poppin' Pins and is actually here in Idaho, in Preston, Idaho, and that is the bowling alley where they filmed the scenes from Napoleon Dynamite. If I were heading to Preston, Idaho today, guys, I would totally buy Papa Pins right now and I would take him and give him to the good folks at the Poppin' Pins. All right, Papa, we'll keep that in mind for another day. Let's head back, wait a moment here. I see Billy Butcherson's head. And what is this here? Mix and match, buy one, get one 50% off. Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, Haunted Mansion, and Beetlejuice. I wonder if that actually includes Billy Butcherson's head. I'm gonna have to ask. All right, let's keep making our way back here. Wow, this store is even bigger than I thought it was. Hello, Mr. Squishy Face Freddy. Rip Wheeler from Yellowstone. Guys, I am still watching this series. And last night I caught myself considering buying a Yellowstone Dutton Ranch hat because I knew they had them here at Spirit Halloween. All right, let's keep making our way back here. We're gonna come back and look at some more of this stuff including like all these masks and stuff over here but i just want to see if they happen to have any other animatronics around the store in fact here are some more jumping spiders here sometimes they have more like in the little nooks and crannies and corners around the store all right let's take a look here we have a ton of sinister spirit dolls somebody online this morning posted an awesome spooky picture of her like standing in a graveyard and there was fog and everything it was so spooky here we go we have a couple back here guys it's the empty soul girl on a swing and the swinging witches more empty soul girls up here we have all the talking dolls here all right let's see any other animatronics hiding around these corners here here's some stickers for the car Aldrin. We got the ham hock, the hook head hog, the hook eye guy, the wave of bad breath. And let's look at a couple things we usually don't look at in this aisle, like the step pad cover set. That is pretty cool. These are for your animatronics, and it actually comes with four different step pad covers, as you see right there. Those are just covers, though. This is actually the step pad right here, and this is $10.99. The covers are $6.99 for four covers. Chains of Death, Foot of Death, Hand of Death, Leg of Death. We got a regular severed hand, and then this is the one that I like. The severed hand where there is a bone sticking out the front of the finger. I guess you'd call that the finger tip. Maybe it's a tip bone. <laughs> the tip bone's connected to the finger bone. All right, we got tons of furry spiders here. We have the slithering snake. Have we looked at him yet? Wow, that's a thick rubber slithering snake. <laughs> Multi-prop remote, three skull lawn stakes. Ooh, okay, I see there's three of them on there, but there's two skulls on each of the stakes. Zombie hand lawn stakes. We got some creeping cats on the end here, as well as three scabs and a couple of secret keeping cats. Where is Carrot? Ooh, have I seen these skulls, guys? These are like human-sized skulls. Does the jaw move? I don't know if the jaw moves or not. Yeah, a little bit. It's a hinged jaw. Doesn't move a whole lot, but look at this. He's got blood on his incisors. <laughs> I ought to get one of these to put on the front of the Hummer. I like these hanging ghouls. I don't think they get enough attention, but they are cool if you like hung them around your property from your trees. We have the hanging tattered girl here, the hanging skull reaper, the hanging bride doll. This one's cool, the animated faceless specter. It's called, oh, he has chains with him too, chains of death. And of course we have the five foot six inch hanging clown, which sort of looks like hugs, but mainly just because he has green hair. Whoa, look at this guys. They have secret keeping cat socks. What the heck? Those are cool. <laughs> those look like the vintage secret keeping cats. How much are those? $7.99 for the secret keeping cat socks. All right, let's look at these couples outfits here. Cause these are pretty cool. We got the 
the bear. Okay, maybe they're not really couples outfits, but there's couples on the front, so you could get two of these and be a couple. The bear union suit, the cow union suit, the cute cow union suit so the dude could wear the regular cow the chick could wear the cute cow tiger union suit dalmatian union suit you could get 101 friends and be dalmatians the shark union suit for your sharknado party monkey union suit i like this one look at the way that chick is hunched down there like a real monkey <laughs> Ooh, and look at this sloth union suit. If you were gonna watch the movie, The Bad Guys, that would be perfect. All right, let's take a look at some of these masks over here. We have the original 1978 Michael Myers Halloween. This is the Texas Chainsaw Mask that I like right here. Of course, we have an alien. I actually drove through the area of Area 51. Look, they got a Momo mask. Remember when this thing was all over the internet and scaring the crap out of everybody? We got the Nightmare 4 mask which I bought yesterday, the saw mask. I like this one so much, the none for you mask. The red ghost face devil mask. We got Frankenstein, we got the grumpy baby, Uncle Bobby, and Papa Pin's best friend waiting to go to bingo with his blue hair. The ghostly ghoul with his disgusting hair. Ichigo half mask, I don't think I've ever seen that one. I do love the plague doctor masks though, those are really creepy. And I like this one, the hooded darkness. Oh, somebody also asked me in the comments to find this one, the Skeletal Crow Mask. And this is one of those that the mouth actually moves. And that is $19.99. That's not too bad for that mask. That's actually a pretty dang good price. They also have the Skeletal Bat Mask. I like that one. That's my favorite right there. And the Skeletal Wolf and the Skeletal Evil Goat. Stay away, evil. I know, right? They have the Fall Guys. They have the Teletubbies. They have Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. They have gangsters. They have Roman gladiators. They have hippies. They have pirates. They have Vikings and knights. Look at this, they even have a pet dragon. Have I seen this before? I know I've seen like the owl that sits on your shoulder, but this one sits on your shoulder. You wrap that strap around so he won't fall off, and then you have a pet shoulder dragon. All right, let's see what kind of zombie babies they have in here. They have a whole plethora, but I do not see the burrito baby. I mean, I have a burrito baby. I'm not looking to buy another one, but it's always fun just to be looking for something. And the burrito baby is one of those things I have not seen in any stores yet this season. Somebody told me he's online only this year, and maybe that's the case, but somebody else also posted a picture of one burrito baby in a store. They have all the pajamas. They have tons of plush over here, tons of different doormats. I'm still looking for a different scream doormat than this one. They have a whole plethora of the bobbleheads here. They have the giant ghost face knife, which I think is totally cool. And that's not even like cheap foam. That's actually made from wood. Oh, here's a costume I haven't seen this season yet. The poison ivy cape in the Poison Ivy bodysuit. That's actually pretty cool. There's even Poison Ivy leg wraps and a Poison Ivy cosmetic kit and the gloves. Batman, the Joker, the Riddler. I like this Joker mask because he has the chin that actually moves. Joker suspenders, a Joker bow tie, Joker cosmetic kit. Let's look at the Ghostbusters costumes for a second here because these are awesome. Look at this. We have the inflatable Stay Puffed on the top there. We have the Ghostbusters proton pack, the ecto goggles, and the jumpsuits. And I believe that this has interchangeable name patches. Yeah, so whatever name patch you want to use, you just stick it on there with Velcro. Get out of my face, Barfamet. Holy crap, guys, look at this. They actually have the popcorn gun, too. And somebody did tell me that the popcorn in there, like, pops around as if it's actually popping. It pops around like it's actually popping. What sense does that make? They got all the Chucky costumes and accessories. Friday the 13th, Trick or Treat, lots of Pennywise, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And since I bought the Freddy mask recently, I really should invest in the Freddy glove, but I think I'm gonna wait and find the 
the deluxe one that's like metal. And what do you know? It's right here on the side. How cool is that? So they have this one right here, which is like a hard plastic. They have this one down here, which is a very soft plastic. And then they have this one here, which is the one I was just talking about. It's called the Supreme Edition. It's a replica metal Freddy Krueger glove. That is awesome. That is $59.99 and I have a 20% coupon. That should take off about 12 bucks. That's a good deal. They also have the Freddy hat, but I'm not sure that I really want or need that. Wait, look at this pumpkin vest. What the heck? I have not seen this before. That's hilarious. And look at this awesome hooded flannel spirit shirt. We got Jack the Reaper on the front and on the back it says spirit three times. That is an awesome shirt right there. And that is $39.99 if you want to come down here and get one. All right, let's take one more journey to the other side of the store here, guys. See if there's anything that we missed that we haven't really seen yet. They do have these pops here. These are pretty cool. Victor and Emily from The Corpse Bride. And then we have Bibbo with Shorty in a pizza box. That one's hilarious. Let's leave some stickers for them. Let's leave some stickers for Spider-Man and Spider-Man and Spider-Man and Spider-Man. And Bluey and Bluey and Bluey and Bullseye and Bullseye and Bullseye and the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. McQueen, McQueen, McQueen. One for the basket, one for the unicorn. Oh, somebody asked me to look at the Barbie costumes. So here's a skating Barbie and here's a Western Barbie. And then we have the pink power jumpsuit Barbie. Let's not forget to say hello to our tiny terrors. Hello, ghost face. Hello, leather face. Hello, Sam face. Look at this, they have a whole bunch of these ghost face uh, fleece throws. I actually have this one as well as the one where he's like bursting out of the TV, but I do not have this one where he's saying, call me. And before we go, let's leave some stickers for the blood. All right, guys, I think I've seen everything I wanna see in here. This is an enormous, awesome, totally stocked store. Make sure you come down here to Boise, Idaho and check it out and buy some awesome Halloween stuff. And don't forget to pick up your stickers. Stickers.